and the slick tyres go back on too, much to the relief of the drivers and the speed should rise. Well that's the view that you get if you sit in one of these projectiles. And this is one of the other sides of it. It's a long way from Nigel Mansell's setup. You have to do your own spannering when you're an amateur kart driver. And you have to pay your own bills. And just look at those beautiful carburettors on the Austrian Rotax twin cylinder kart there. And a plumber's nightmare. How do they fit everything in? And more importantly, how do they stop it from falling off? Well, there's the scene of the paddock at Peel with Peel Hill in the background and Corin's Folly on the top of it as we take our first conducted ride around at a hundred miles an hour now up through the S Bend and up Stanley Road into Church Street right and left very quickly up through the box and up towards the Derby Road crossing Albany Road and towards the famous bump at Queen's Drive. Leveled out a bit this year, but still quite some obstacle. Over that and right into Queen's Drive now, at about 75. Now into Top Gear and herring down across the Tinwell Road crossing. Heathfield Drive and hard on the brakes down towards the railway station hill. Left and down the drop and down the frightening rights at the Creek Inn. On to the North Quay. And the speeds are electric and on with the brakes for the weather glass corner and hurtle round that and out onto the promenade. If you can do that in about a minute, you'll stand a chance of being competitive. Nothing to it until you come to try it. And just look how hard the pedals are being worked there by our driver. Who slackens down and pulls into the paddock at the Empire Garage. Well, that's just one lap. 10 laps in the race and an average speed of well over 60 miles an hour. The worst moments of all in a race, the butterflies jumping about all over the show. Watch this go from 15 miles an hour to 60 in about 3 seconds. Are you ready? Steady? Go! Council loses his pole position though to Ivan Fisher on the first run along the prom. 17 Fisher seemed to have the lead away from the start. And up the hill they come and indeed it is Fisher from Council with Stoddart third. The rest of the field try to find their way around but there's no room round. Number 54 and there's a lot of banging and barging. Oh that's done nothing whatever for the chances of a couple of them there. I think Chris Jones was caught out there by that spin by number 54. But now we're really on our way. That's 70 miles an hour through the streets of Peel. And look at the vibration of the carts as the drivers wrestle with them. And it's Fisher, Council, Stoddart, and Peter Rogers, number 28 from Lydiot, who is in fourth position. Along the quay they go. And there's going to be nothing in this one, I don't think. But Fisher tries to get away. He pulls 50 yards, perhaps, along the prom on lap two. Fisher, Council and Stoddart, the two local drivers between the two visitors. One spin and your challenge is over. And these carts on a power to weight ratio put out a phenomenal performance. There's Fisher changing into fourth and using the middle of the road, keeping the others back, not chancing going down the left. He'll swing over to the left as they come to that right-hander at the end. And they're almost bumping into each other. The two local rivals, Council and Stoddart. Friends off the track, but not on it. Fisher then, a few yards. Right wheel clear of the tarmac as they take the left. And up towards the police station. 28. Peter Rogers not yet lost touch. And Council and Stoddart determined not to let the Irishman get away. Council gets in his slipstream as they wind it up along the prom into 4th and 5th and season 6th gear and almost 120 miles an hour. And Council is stalking Fisher. Stoddart just waits his turn in case something happens but dropping a little bit further back is Rogers. And Fisher on exactly the same line as the past. Stoddart looks to see if he can go on the inside of Council. Nothing doing. 
Cancel shuts the door on him. Fisher. Cancel has a twitch on. Stoddart. Changes the surfaces there without shutting the throttle even a quarter of an inch. With Rogers pressing hard. And where's the rest of the field? They're a little bit further in arrears. Number 13, Paul Maguire leads them in fifth position. But still it's Fisher and Cancel. Where's Stoddart? No, sorry, that's Stoddart ahead of Cancel. Number seven, it's 17, and looks as if Fisher may have gone. It looks as if Fisher may be in trouble. There he is, he's in third position. That's what caught me out, it's Stoddart in the lead. But Fisher gets it back. Fisher, and there's problems for one of them, but they get past, and it's a seesaw lead. 13, Maguire. Well, problems there temporarily for Fisher. He must have missed a gear or something. But immediately, he bounced back to take the lead. You would have thought perhaps it would be difficult to recover, but he made it. But who is it this time? It's Council. Council in the lead, 48, with that right wheel two feet in the air as they hurtle past the Creek Hotel. With Rogers striving to get back up with the top three. And Maguire settling for fifth, I think. A lonely position for him. And next up is Lance Page. Then it's 25, Steve Colville. But he's the leaders. And it's Stoddart this time. Stoddart has the lead from Council. Where's Fisher? There he is in third position. He's back. So that trouble must have recurred. 